What is up guys, it's Jared Spalding here, and today I'm just discussing something that might come as a surprise to some of you guys, you know, because I always do talk about how uh, I, you know, do like uh, educating new stackers and getting people into silver stacking, but at the end of the day, I do actually personally like it when people don't stack silver, and you might be wondering, you know, why would you like that, you know, basically you like it when people are allowing themselves to be robbed, well, here's the thing. I'm not going to be able to change everybody's mind. I already know that. You know, it's like most people are never going to encounter silver investing in their life. They might, you know, get into the stock market or stuff like that because that's a lot more popular right now. So, like I was saying, you know, I can't really change people. And, you know, hopefully I have educated a few, at least a few people through my endeavors on this channel. But at the end of the day, there's going to be plenty of people who simply don't care enough to stack silver. So, you know... That's something that I actually like because of the simple fact that the more people that there are not, like the more people that do not stack silver, the more I can buy. I mean, you know, it's really simple. Of course, you know, J.P. Morgan manipulates the prices. You know, they, they basically, I mean, not control them, but they have a large, I mean, amount of silver enough to really mess with the market. However, you know, if the media were to jump on the prices, they would bubble just like they have in the past. You know, there's been plenty of bubbles on silver before. So, you know, they could drive up the prices to 50 or $60 an ounce. And, you know, the thing about that is a lot of people get hurt in there, which is something that's unfortunate. And silver is going to be really expensive. So, you know, you won't be able to buy that necessarily. But the thing that really will hurt people is the bubble popping. And, you know, that's something else that, you could probably say is good, honestly, that a lot of people don't stack silver is because there's not going to be a steady demand. Once the demand spikes, there's a reason why it's called demand spike. It's because it's not steady, you know. There's not going to be people constantly buying that much silver from then on. It's going to fall back down the demand. And therefore, you know, people are going to get be hurting themselves really badly. So, personally, I like it the way it is. You know, silver fluctuates up and down a little bit, but it's affordable right now, you know. That's one of the big reasons why I don't really invest in gold is because I honestly can't afford to. I mean, you know, at the prices that it's at, you know, just to get a good deal, you have to buy at least an ounce, and I don't have that kind of money just laying around, you know, over, you know well over $1,000 to just put into it. You know what I mean? So I personally can't do that, and therefore, you know, I don't really see gold as a viable option for me. But anyway, I mean, just a really quick video just talking about why I personally really do like it how people do not stack silver, you know, a lot of people don't. But let me know what you think in the comment sections below. Um, do you think that it's worth it for, you know, to keep prices low for people to be uneducated? That is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Peace, love, and much respect.